This 1951 Dennis F-12 Pump Escape is one of the first post-war fire appliances to enter service with a then newly formed Wiltshire Fire Brigade. Designed for urban firefighting, it spent most of its service until the late 1970s at Salisbury Fire Station. Powered by a Rolls-Royce petrol engine, it was considered to be one of the fastest and most powerful appliances of its day. The vehicle carried a 1,000 gallon per minute main pump, capable of providing six main firefighting jets. The appliance also carried a 50-foot wheeled escape ladder, two hose reels supplied by a 100-gallon water tank, and hook ladders. The standard warning device in the 1950s was still the traditional fire bell. However, an experimental siren was fitted later. Before the introduction of blue lights, twin flashing amber lights were used as a warning to other road users. At about this time, new technology was being introduced in fire hose construction with the use of man-made materials such as terrilene. Lightweight couplings and fittings were taking the place of brass. Firemen of the period, and they were all male in those days, wore a uniform that had changed very little for nearly 30 years. With a black cork and leather helmet, heavy woolen double-breasted tunic, belt, black waterproof leggings, and leather or rubber boots. Every fireman carried his own hand axe. It should be noted that gloves were seldom, if ever, worn. Breathing apparatus was worn only in the largest or smokiest fires. This type of oxygen breathing apparatus had been in use for some 60 years, and though a complex piece of equipment, it was considered to be very reliable. The wheeled escape ladder would be used at a fire should a rescue need to be carried out. A crew of four firemen would first lever the ladder up to the vertical position, bringing the weight of the three quarters of a ton ladder onto the carriage wheels located at its base. The ladder would then be manoeuvred in the upright position towards the building. The extending sections of the ladder were operated by a winch mechanism. When the correct height had been reached, final adjustments could be made, bringing the head of the ladder into the window. To hold the ladder in position, wheel blocks were placed either side of the carriage wheels, and one man always remained on the escape levers. Rescues were carried out by the traditional fireman's lift. This method of rescue had first been developed in the mid-19th century. The wheeled escape ladder, when handled by an experienced crew, was considered to be the fastest and most reliable of all rescue ladders. Where parked vehicles or gardens obstructed the front of the building, the angle of the ladder could be adjusted by the use of a separate winch mechanism. This would allow the ladder to slide back through the carriage to provide a shallow pitch for the ladder. The escape ladder was first designed in the mid-19th century to be pushed through the streets to the fire. At the beginning of the 20th century, the ladder was adapted to be carried on a horse-drawn escape van and then further adapted to be carried on motorised appliances. To carry out rescues from windows which could not be reached by the wheeled escape, hook ladders would be used. These short wooden ladders carried a large steel hook which was hung over the windowsill. One man would climb the ladder and sit astride the sill, 
and a second man would then follow and join the first. The ladder would then be raised up to be hung from the sill above. When ready, the fireman would continue to climb. This process would be repeated until the desired height was reached. The method of rescue by hook ladder was to lower the casualty by line, which was in turn steadied by a guy line from the ground. This method is still used for training purposes by firefighters, but seldom used in practice. In turn, any further equipment required by the firefighters would need to be hauled aloft. If firefighters climbing hook ladders could not gain access to the windowsill, two or more ladders could be used with the aid of a safety belt, thus averting the need to enter each window.